Hello guys, welcome back to TechnoCenter, a one-stop technology simplified. If you have not yet subscribed to TechnoCenter, then please hit the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Subscription is free and it's very valuable for us to grow our channel and to bring more exciting stuff in future. It is really essential to remove duplicate files from the computer in order to free up the space and to run the computer nice and smooth. But the question is how to do this. Manually finding the duplicate files for deletion is time consuming process and is almost impossible. How about a free software that can find the duplicate files at once, allow you to review them before deletion? Yes, in this video, we are going to talk about a free software that can find the duplicate files on your computer and will help you to make your life easy. So without wasting any more time, Let's get started. To access the website, open your Chrome browser and type in the URL www.alldo.de. This is a German website. So if you want to change the contents for better readability, you can click on the EN button which will translate your website content into the English and you can very easily read the contents from this website. So here you can see the website is already open now. On the top menu on the products you click on all do and this is the exact software that we are going to use and we are going to talk today. Now. As you can see, this is a software for finding and removing the duplicate files from your machine. This is a freeware tool for searching and removing the file duplicates on your computer. There is a fast search algorithm involved in the application which can help you to find the files uh, very easily and very fast. And it has a powerful search engine enables you to find the duplicates with the combination of following criteria like a file name, file extension, file size, as well as file content. And you can able to find the different type of files like Word document, text files, your image files and so on. Here, here are some of the all do features are available. You can just go through it. But overall, the software uh, looks very nice. It's really lightweight software and you should use it and try once. To download the software on the left hand side you can see there is a download link given. Simply click on the link and here you can see the installation file is available. This is a windows installer. This software is available only for windows machines, windows PC and it is not available for the mac OS. Software total size is total 6.38 MB which is really low. Simply click on the server number one and uh, the website will download the installable files on your machine which is all do portable dot zip. I have already downloaded this zip file. You just need to extract this zip file to your required folder. I have already extracted the contents and it looks like this. It has the all do portable application which we are going to see today. For testing purpose, I have created uh, one folder and under, fo under this one folder compare files, I have created to another folders, test one and test one copy. In the test one, I have kept one file which is wow and another folder which is having the exact the same image with the same name. Along with that, I have copied the same image but with the different name just for testing whether how this software is exactly working. Now open our software, simply click on this all do portable icon. Okay, now the software is already opened. The first thing we need to understand is how this software works. For this simply we need to select the source folder from where we need to find the duplicate contents on our machine. We just need to tell this software to look into certain folder and find out the duplicate contents. Then we need to select the search method which we are going to talk about uh, after some time. 
and the third one is the start search so this is how the software works on the top you can see there is a source folder button is given wherein you can find the source folder or you can assign the folder and you can direct the software to find the duplicate contents from that specified folder only i would recommend you not to select the c drive or your os drive so that the system will not find the system files and it will try to delete those files so it will be mess up and your computer may stop working forever so i'm going to use only one folder which i have created for our testing purpose which is e compare files simply we need to click on source folders under source folder click on the add folder now system will give you the option to select the folder wherein you want to find the duplicate contents i will go to my e drive and i will click on compare files click on ok and this is how i have selected this folder under compare method we have total three options first one is compare files from all source folder second one is compare only file within the same source folder and third one is compare only files between the different source folder i will select the first option because i want to find all the duplicate contents under the subfolders as well in the second option which is a search method we have the comparison criteria under the comparison criteria we need to inform the software like certain criteria to use to find the duplicate content like file name file extension file size and file content now for testing purpose i will select the file name and the file content as my comparison criteria under file content there is a compare method is given at present by default sha-1 160 bit is selected the second one byte by byte this method is also good but it is very time consuming it will go and check the content byte by byte and it's somewhat time consuming so if you want to search for multiple files so it will take long time so for better results and fast results i am going to use sha-1 160 bit now the third option which is a search options this is not exactly required so we'll keep as it is and then you simply click on the start search which is at the top and the system will find the duplicate content for you okay now see our result is ready now we can see the file name wow is available two times under two different folders and the two duplicates are two number so this is how it is working because we have given the criteria as to file the content with the same file name and same content so even if we have total three file with the same content the system found out only two because only two of them have the same file name now let's go and change our comparison criteria now i will remove the file name and i will ask the software to find only the content which is similar or duplicate so i will just select only file content as my criteria and i'll click on start search okay now you can see we have total three duplicates if you expand this we can see we have total three file that is expression.png wow.png and wow.png which is available under two different folders test1 and test1-copy so this is how it works this is how the comparison criteria you can just change the option you can play with it and you can see whether you are getting the correct results or not for the first run it's actually recommended now we need to select the files which we need to delete which are actually a duplicate files and we don't need it so i'll select the expression.png and the third one that is wow.png these two files are duplicate which i don't need it and you simply click on the this button which is file manager delete copy move or rename the selected files i'll click on this button and system will ask whether i want to delete the files or you want to move the files to windows recycle bin it's always good idea to move the files to windows recycle bin but if you are very sure that okay these files are not required you can click on the delete files and it will delete the files completely from your machine you cannot uh, retrieve it back 
So I will simply click on the delete files. This is a check mark show file protection note so that the system will give you prompt before deleting those files and I'll click on the OK button. Okay, now here is a warning deleting the files could render your Windows screen inoperable. Don't change files that are the part of Windows system or any application. So it is giving you a prompt not to choose any Windows system or OS related files which can make your computer to stop working. So if you are confirmed like these files are of no use, these are duplicate content and they are not related to your OS or Windows system, then you just can go and proceed with the deleting files by simply clicking this yes button. Okay, now it's showing two files have been processed. That means they are already removed from my PC. If I go to my folder back, compare files, test one yes this is original file which i need it so i have not asked the software to delete the files but in the second folder these two files which i think were a duplicate content so system has now removed those files so overall this is a great software best part it is it is free and uh, you can just try with it you can just play with it and if you like this software, uh, let me know your views in the comment box below. If you like this video, then please hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe to Technosalad. Thanks for watching this video and bye for now.